Good day. These are notes you may have seen in Science 8, Science 10, and now you see them again in Chemistry 11. In Chemistry 11, you've got to think like a particle. And that means you have to know the difference between atoms and molecules and elements and compounds. And some students, even though they have a bunch of years of doing chemistry, they still struggle with it. So the atom is the smallest particle of an element. And each element is going to have its own kind of atom. Now, based on isotopes, we know they can have different types of atoms with different numbers of neutrons. But for our purposes, we'll just treat it as though each element has its own unique atom. And that atom will have a specific number of protons. As you look at the periodic table, generally higher up on the periodic table, we have smaller atoms because they have fewer electrons. Also, as you go to the right, strangely enough, the elements, the atoms tend to get smaller as well. And those are reasons, those reasons we'll get to when we hit chapter 11 about the periodic table. But the volume of an atom comes from its electrons. So helium, with two electrons, can be pretty small. Lead, with 82 and multiple layers of electrons, is going to be quite a bit bigger. As soon as you put atoms together, they chemically bond they make molecules, and we're talking about covalent bonding here. We can have molecules of elements, O2, oxygen's diatomic, hydrogen, H2, Cl2. Those are all molecules. Sulfur, if you had S8, eight atoms of sulfur forming a ring, that would be a molecule of sulfur. But we can also have molecules of uh, compounds. And here we have ammonia, NH3, so three hydrogens, on one nitrogen. When we have ionic compounds, uh, technically we shouldn't call them molecules, although your textbook will from time to time. Elements are pure substances. They cannot be broken down further by chemical means, and that means atoms cannot be broken down by chemical means. Then you can say, whoa, but we learned about nuclear fission last year. Well, that's a nuclear reaction, not a chemical reaction. So, in terms of chemical reactions, we don't change the identity of the element. And when we get to compounds, as soon as we have different elements joined together, combined in a fixed ratio, we have a compound. So here's magnesium oxide, and here's calcium chloride. And you kind of tell this is the calcium, and these are the chlorines. Possibly not the scale. Anyways, make sure you understand what those four, term mean, four